Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Wednesday, November 25th, 2020. I am Freddie C. Libert. Junior Minister of Health and Gender Affairs, the Honorable Hazel Brandy Williams, delivered an address to mark the start of 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, which runs from Wednesday, November 25th to Thursday, December 10th, 2020. With over half the world going on lockdown, millions suffering from the virus, and millions more losing their jobs, more individuals in 2020 have found themselves trapped at home with their abusers, thus suffering the loss of economic independence and so finding themselves more vulnerable to violence. The Special Victims Unit in the St. Kitts and Nevis Police Force has indicated that since our days of lockdown, there has been a marked increase in the number of domestic violence cases reported. We cannot afford for one viral pandemic to leave us overwhelmed by the effects of a social and hidden pandemic, the symptoms of which our society would suffer for many years to come. The junior minister spoke on the theme, Orange the World, Fund, Respond, Prevent, Collect. To prevent gender-based violence, we are required to create a room for community dialogue so that everyone in our society can have productive discussions that will foster mutual respect and understanding of the causes of gender-based violence. We must have discussions on dating. How do you know if this person is right for you? How do you recognize the red flags that tell you that this person is likely to be violent? Financial problems are the number one cause of disputes among couples. So, discussions on financial responsibility, such as budgeting, are necessary if we are to nip the problem of intimate partner violence in the bud. She also encouraged persons to join the ministry to show solidarity to those victims of violence and to make their voices heard. Business places are encouraged to decorate their offices with orange, which is the assigned color for the fight against gender-based violence. The Department of Gender Affairs is hosting an activity this coming Sunday, November 29, 2020, as part of the activities for the 16 Days of Activism Against Gender-Based Violence. On the 29th of November at 4.30 p.m. at Lime Beach Bar, we'll be having a very inspirational activity. It's called Flipping the Script. And this is where we hear about the other side of gender-based violence. How persons have the ability to come through and break out from gender-based violence and emerge as successful whole citizens of Nevis. And so we would hear the testimony of some women who walk the walk, they've been through it, and they got themselves together, received help where it was available, and they ensured that they freed themselves and I know not only successful, but they're business owners as well. Gender officer in the department, Mario Phillip, also spoke of other activities that the department will be engaging in. The department has been engaged and will continue to be engaged in the distribution of brochures and pamphlets. So you would see us throughout Charlestown, maybe popping into your workplace, to share that information with you so that you can be aware of the signs of domestic violence. You can be aware of what you can do to help someone who is suffering and how you can join the campaign in general. Gender Affairs Officer in the Department of Gender Affairs, Mario Phillip. Honorable Mark Brantley, Premier of Nevis and Minister of Finance, will present the Nevis Island Administration's 2021 budget when the Nevis Island Assembly sits in chambers at Hamilton House on Tuesday, December 8th, 2020. Clerk of the Assembly, Myra Williams, gave notice that the sitting will commence at 10 a.m. at Hamilton House on the Samuel Hunkins Drive in Charlestown. Still to come, arriving passengers into St. Kitts and Nevis urged to upload certified and accurate information. The details right after this break. Banking is now an essential part of our life. 
That's why the Bank of Nevis Limited is making life easier for all of our customers. As a bond customer, waiting in line is a thing of the past. Deposit checks or cash at any one of our Charlestown ATMs today. Short on funds? No problem. It's easy making withdrawals using your bond visa debit card. Experience how much easier life can be with just one swipe of your debit card. Whether it's online or in store, we've got you covered. Easy and delicious. Now that's a great combo. We fully understand that sometimes life can get hectic. Log on to Bond's online banking platform and with just a click, you can save the day by easily transferring funds from your savings to your checking account. Just like that. And your funds are transferred in real time. Perfect. With a single swipe of your debit card or a few clicks for online banking, the Bank of Nevis Limited will continue to improve the quality of your life so you can continue to live your best life. The Bank of Nevis Limited, improving the quality of life. Welcome back. Chair of the National COVID-19 Task Force, Abdias Samuel, is appealing to all travelers arriving in St. Kitts and Nevis to upload certified and accurate test results and other pertinent information to knatravelform.kn for smooth processing of their online immigration and customs forms, as well as entry into the Federation. Persons are actually uploading receipts, persons are uploading uh, things that cannot be verified, that will not be accepted. And uh, let me repeat, such, such uploads will not be accepted. Please ensure that when you upload your test, it verifies everything, the lab, the location of the lab, the information, and all the regular information required. Samuel said that persons who are using home kit testing and others will not be accepted. The reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction test is what will be accepted and not no uh, uh, rapid test or any other type of test. Please ensure if there are persons who are doing home kit testing and uploading these home kit testing, those will not be accepted. He noted that persons who are uploading incorrect information are putting others at risk. We are seeing uh, a number of irregularities as it regards to the approval process where persons are attempting to circumvent the system with uploading wrong tests, wrong information, and doing other things in order for them to travel. You are jeopardizing the, the travelers who are traveling with you. You are jeopardizing the country at large and everybody else that you come into contact with. We are appealing to everyone who wants to travel to St. Kitts to do so and do so the right way. The chair of the task force reiterated that the right way is to visit knatravelform.kn and follow the requirements. Samuel thanked the team responsible for the vetting process and noted that they are going above and beyond the call of duty to ensure that travelers understand the requirements. The Department of Gender Affairs began a program dubbed Men Can Cook as part of the activities for International Men's Day. Gender Affairs Officer Mario Phillip gave an update on the program which began on Friday, November 13th, 2020. The show has been going very well and the five participants are very excited to be included in the program. They have been learning quite a number of things. They've done baking, roasting, and they've done studies in food health and cleanliness. And so the program has been off to a good start. Many persons have heard about the program, seen pictures or video clips, and they have become excited too and shown a lot of interest in joining. But we at the Department of Gender Affairs, because of this interest, we have decided that we would look forward to doing other editions of Men Can Cook. The theme for International Men's Day is family, friendship, health, making a positive difference to the well-being of men and boys. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Freddie Sealybird. Thank you for viewing.